Thank you. 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 Thank you.
wrecked on the magazine cover I had. And then uh, just uh, I made I put butterflies going around and I put the logo up here. And that's my first foxy lady. She's a fox. <laughs> she was on a magazine cover called um, Smart Set, and it was like um, in the 1920s. I've, I've noticed in your posters you uh, you bring out for for your collage work you bring out a lot of actual artwork I mean fine artwork from fine artists and uh, as a yeah, yeah and, and then intermix them with uh, you know something like a torn magazine cover yeah. and it, it works really interesting I think yeah. the juxtaposition of those two Especially types you don't of images do it yeah. oh yeah you can and this I just use this one piece here and this from the same painting by Rousseau. Yeah, and the Tiffany lamp. You know, he was the one who used to paint these paintings of a woman lying on a couch in the forest. Yeah, like yeah. Stuff. Keep going. So, um, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. How, I didn't know how people would you know, react to the lampshade, but it worked out really well. I thought The lampshade was, I thought, brilliant. One of the best parts. And uh, the uh, Well, I'll tell you one. I, I told this story a little earlier and I'll let you know. I brought out my little fox theater, which came after this one and uh, told the story about how I started making little orange foxes as the animal and yeah. you came in and upped the ante by making the little fox in the in the foxy lady in the, in the foxy lady meaning and then I of course had to follow suit with my own sexy lady and then there's been a couple that have come afterwards and uh, and uh, it, it know, that, gets a lot about borrowing from each other well it always sticks in my mind because of the, that song in the 60s of Foxy Lady. Hey, Foxy Lady. Uh, I think it was actually a Doors song, but Jimi Hendrix made it really famous. Right. Or maybe it was his song. But it's a good piece, David. Yeah, so. thank you. Well, I always like this one. Very good. Well, let's find a couple you other in the mix there. Yeah, just whatever you want to. Here's one that I. It shows how I took the logo and, and did a whole number on it by. Uh, this is for Earth Dance. And uh, I actually put the logo over here with the band, but I had it up here, you know. I Dancing like, I really on the like, earth. I like this poster. Yeah, it's good. It's a nice one of those straightforward standalone posters. It was posters. also from like the 1920s or something. And uh, This is one that I particularly like. And I made it kind of a, an icon, uh, or a hieroglyph of tea leaf green, so here's the leaves, and then moon Alice, here's the moon, and here's Alice. <laughs> and then the lips, uh, I really like that one. It's good. It's, uh, it's a nice green poster. Green posters are, are tough to print. For anybody out there wanting to make a poster, stay you away know, from you, the green. <laughs> you, you, uh, you handled this one perfect, right, Chris? Well, I, I aim here. to please. Yes. And, uh, here's a completely different kind of poster, which is... Um, well, this kind of goes back to the almost old, the very old days. Yeah, old, this is actually... I, ha I had this uh, for a long time. Uh, I didn't do this collage just for Moon Alice. I had it around, and then one day I thought, wow, that's Moon Alice. I didn't... You know, I, I did this before I even heard of Moon Alice, but I thought, that's Moon Alice. So I... I made a poster out of it. And it's old etching, so it's like a, the color I had, it was all black and white, the collage. So. It's just me. And particularly, I like the fact that there's only one spot. One spot of red. I like it. Well, that's, a, yeah, that's another one of those re, re, reoccurring themes in your artwork. You like, uh, you know, the pristine little spot of pure color here and there. And uh, let's see, what else? Uh, we might have gone. Going through the stack I there. We went through the stack. Well, you got the one last piece there. And there's and, uh, this one that I just. Uh, Roger was showing the original artwork. I, I, he had bought this original artwork from me, and I told him I said I wouldn't give it to him until I actually made a poster out of it. So I like that poster. It's good. Nice. Uh, Dante's. Dante's in uh, Portland. Sweet I always had one of the one of the most interesting parts about doing these posters is all the, the zillions of fonts now that are, that are available online, and how you can take any any font and then twist it and put borders and colors and and uh, 
stuff that used to take a month. And, yeah, and there's so many, the, very, the possibilities are endless. And uh, they try to get the uh, uh, font just to fit the image is always a challenge, as you know. And it's, the typesetting is always one, the this, hardest part. This I one think. works particularly well, I think. Yeah. In it's terms really of nice. the, the lettering and the, and the collage. Another sweet composition, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. My rigid geometry. I rigid guess. geometry, well. Euclid so. and Pythagoras would be very happy. So, uh, well, David, Ed, I mean, coming up into 2011 here, do you have any uh, anything on your plate that's uh, you know break any ground on any new ideas well, or? Well, yeah, we've had several months uh, break here, so I'm going to. Uh, I, I have some new ideas. Are you going to be doing more digital work? Or are you going to get back in a um, it's, scissors? It's part both. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> I. I I have a room where I have all kinds of images and I, I sort of move them around and I get ideas and then I scan them and use them on the computer. Well, David and I were talking on the phone one day and we were talking about how difficult sometimes it is to cut out digital art and uh, all, get all the pixels just right. And uh, I, I think we both came to the uh, conclusion that even in this day and time, scissors sometimes work better. Yeah, you know, and some images, <laughs> I, I prefer to actually cut you them out. You just cut them out. And, and then uh, scan them. Because and then, then scan them, yeah. Then you save, yourself, edge, you know? <laughs> save yourself four hours of picking out little yeah. pixels. So, yeah. And uh, maybe, maybe that's a good way to end this because you go from, go from scissors to digital and back to scissors again. And, well, uh, the whole thing with the computers is you can combine the two. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is you don't have an original piece of art at the end. At the it's, end of the day. It's a digital file, but it's a trade-off. You can do so much more on the computer. It's, uh, I've always said I've never made anything on the computer, but it's the most entire, entirely the most important tool in my toolbox. Um, but I, I have a very hard time, I mean, I, I, I have a hard time uh, getting life sometimes into a purely digital image so it, it needs to have some sort of root in the real world right well um, you have this uh, uh the capacity to do not only really good digital work but you paint and you do you have a lot of different techniques yeah maybe, maybe that's so you're maybe sort of, like you, to paint you yeah. sort of have your, your foot in both worlds too you have feet in both worlds. it's a balance and uh, right and that's good so i think i think working totally on the computer without any connection to um Doing anything by hand is it's not it's 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 limiting. It can be. Yeah, yeah. it can be. That's interesting. So. But I enjoy working on the computer very much. What's your uh, what's your favorite thing about doing Moon Alice posters? What's my favorite thing? The fact that um, Roger and you give me almost total freedom. I mean, is that rare? In your career, that someone uh, well, says do whatever you want. Bill Graham used to do that pretty much, uh, and I knew where the, bo the the edges were, and I knew pretty much what the edges are with Moon Alice. I mean, I don't use uh, anything raunchy or anything, uh, but um, a little fox maybe. That's, that wasn't raunchy. No, of course not. <laughs> it was cutesy. It's cutesy. But um, that's the main thing. It's, it's it's rare these days to be able to do. Uh, posters without having all kinds of you know, I, I requirements, always, you know. I always say that it, as far as artists in the series go, I, I people can do whatever they want. And, you know, as far as their concepts and ideas, and the only time I'm going to hassle them is if something's sloppy or not spelled right. Yeah. And and I know, and most of the time I, you don't even see my posters until I, well, send, I, I send it I, have tr I trust you. I mean, at yeah. this point, I, I mean, he's done a zillion with us, so I've, uh, you build up that trust. So it's uh, just just go for it. And, um, yeah, it's worked out really well. I, and I'm ex I've explored various techniques, and I think this, this year I'm going to explore some new ones. Yeah. All right. And onward into 2011 with Moon Alice TV. Thank you, David. We'll be right back with some more interesting interviews. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Nice one, David. How are you doing? Uh, I wonder why my ears popping. Boing. That's 
got a lot of power behind it. Easy. Yeah, you're gonna. Oh. <laughs> no, it's got a uh, tube amps, so it's, it blows everything up. If it blows, proportion. everything goes with it. No, it blows everything out of proportion. Yeah. So the little signal gets blown up. Yeah, like, really. Oof. Well, so you I'm cool, David. Good job. Amen. <laughs>